What's up you guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is alondra and though most of you guys may know me and are here subscribed because of my weight loss journey just know that we are doing well we're still going strong i just finished my workout today which i have updated about on my instagram so if you guys haven't followed me there it is aloe.sweat please make sure you guys follow there if you are interested in seeing all of the behind the scenes for these videos that I upload here. I like to DM you guys and interact. And I love hearing you guys' questions and comments and suggestions for videos or workouts. It's my favorite thing to do is to socialize with you guys. So again, it is alo.sweat. Hopefully I'll see you guys there. And if you are not subscribed, please make sure you hit that button down below and press the big like button. It really helps me out. So per request, I am making this video because this lovely lady suggested I do my everyday makeup routine. I want to say thank you so much for the compliment. You are literally the sweetest. This is literally the comment of the week and I hope this video does not let you down. So in this video, I'm going to be going through and showing you guys what I use, what works for me and what I've actually been using for a while. These products are all things that I've had in my bag for over a year. Not the same products, but like I've restocked the same products, you get me? I don't know if that makes sense. But if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this look, my everyday, I guess, natural look, please keep on watching. And I hope you guys enjoy. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Um, so this is my face with pretty much nothing but my skincare on. I have the whole shebang, the look moisturizer i got my sunscreen on i got my chapstick on i got some spot treatment on luckily my flare that's been going on on the sides of my face has gone down actually but who doesn't go through skin issues y'all anyways let's get right into it the first thing that i use is this little primer over here now i'm not gonna lie honestly i don't always use the primer sometimes when i'm in a rush to work and I just want to get my stuff on. A little actually does go a long way, but yeah, sometimes I skip this part, which is not the best for my skin, but I said I was keeping it real, right? <laughs> so I like to put it on just because I get scared that if I like rub it, it'll take off my skincare. I don't know what the logic behind that is in my head, but yeah it's super soft and yes i'm working with clean hands i always make sure that i wash my hands before and after i do my makeup because I'm not gonna lie you guys i <laughs> this is my routine and i use my hands for pretty much everything so after this i like to let it sit because it's so soft and like i don't want it to move so I'm just going to let my primer sit and while I do that, I like to do my eyebrows or eyeliner in no specific order. Honestly, it depends on whatever I see first in my bag. Oh, by the way, I got my primer. It's from Beauty Creations. I think it's called Flawless something. The name is like completely gone. I've had it for a minute and I got it at the, the Makeup Stop OC, I think that yeah then with my brows i like to go in with this little pencil i discovered this one at target i honestly was running out of my eyebrow pencil and i had gotten like a 99 cent store one honestly i just work with what i got it was almost done so i ended up going to target and i was looking through like um some like more inexpensive brow pencils. And I had tried the NYX one before and that one's actually pretty good too. I actually really like both. The only difference is the price point. This is ELF's and it is, it's only five freaking dollars you guys. And it works so good. It goes on so smooth. As you can see, I have no hard time applicating it. Honestly, I do this every day, so I'm kind of used to my eyebrow shape or the way I like it to look. Honestly, it's not always going to look 
It's not always gonna look even. Brows are besties, not twins. Try to make them as even as possible. And then I go in with the little spoolie end of the brush. And this is honestly the reason I fell in love with this eyebrow pencil thing because the spoolie is so thin that like, I feel like I can control where I am I want the product to go or where, to, where I want it to sit, you know? And then it does a really good job of like blending it out when I finish like this. I just blend out the harsh lines. I fill in like any bald spots. I have like, I have like a weird growing hair over here. Like these, this part of my eyebrow specifically is very sparse and it grows straight down. So I have to get in there like this and like really fill it in from the inside so that it doesn't, so it looks pretty even. It's just hair growth, whatever. This car, they look very natural, very, oh, I didn't try so hard. And yes, you can conceal them if you have the time to. Since this is in my like little to go makeup bag, I don't really take the time to conceal it because I don't carry an extra little brush. So I just try my best to leave it as is. I rub off any like extra, like if I want to take some off and then that's pretty much it. All right, then I go in with my eyeliner. Now this one I do use the NYX one, the NYX matte Epic Wear waterproof one. It's just the best one that I've been able to work with that stays with me. Ugh. There's a freaking truck that you guys can obviously hear. So while that truck is going on, I'm gonna do my eyeliner and hopefully he leaves by the time I'm done. The reason I do this shape is because when I look straight forward, it looks like that cat eye wing type thing that I'm going trying to go for because of the way my eyelids are. You, you see that? I don't know what kind of eyelids I have, honestly, but I just know that if I do like a straight line, the line always looks lower than this part. So I have to kind of do it like this. But it's okay, I think it looks cute. Sorry guys, we're just gonna have to work around this freaking tractor or something that doesn't wanna freaking leave. But it's okay, there's worse things in the world. So anyways, I never really curl my lashes because my lashes never hold with like any mascaras, but the only one that has ever really been able to give me some sort of lift is the They're Real Mascara by Benefit. I have the mini version, which is why it looks so small because I like to carry these, this stuff in my bag just because you never know when you need a touch up or when you gotta go somewhere in a hurry and you're like, oh damn, I didn't even get ready and you just have everything there. It's, it's pretty, it's just easier. I honestly don't put too much because like I said, it, my, for some reason, my lashes don't ever really hold and if I put too much, it tends to run under my eye. All right, the next thing is my favorite concealer ever. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid, no, Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. I think it's the hyaluronic acid in it that makes it look so much like your skin. I just think it blends in so, so well. I just put this on any red spots I might have to cover it up and then right here because i get really like pink in this area so a couple years ago i saw a video uh on youtube of some girl talking about I, I honestly cannot remember which video or who it was but they were talking about how blending in your concealer with your fingers 
makes it look that much better because of the warmth in your fingers or something like that so i don't know i've always thought about that video and ever since i just kind of do it so i just tap it lightly into my skin where i want it i do not rub and i don't press like too hard so i only do it on the outer corner of my eye and then the inner corner and then i kind of just you know bring it everywhere like you just saw and then same with every spot that i put concealer on i kind of just dab it in And then voila this side just looks so like naturally clear like i don't know how to explain it it's just magic so anyways on this side i do the same thing so again i'm starting in the middle and then i go from the out i had to, i have like this darker edge out here so i kind of cover that up and then i go in backwards and forwards Again, I'm just trying to warm up the concealer and the area, and then I go in and blend the other spots. Then it's time for lip liners. I have like a bunch. I have a, I have a couple more over there in my desk, but usually I carry a couple options with me. Lately, I've been loving, and these are the Nabi liners. Um, there's a Swap Me, the Santa Fe Spring Swap Me. There's this vendor who sells them for like like he get he gives you six for five bucks so i usually just get those and they last me a while my favorite has always been cafe and then i've really been loving the hot cocoa color recently so i'm just gonna show you guys what this looks like this is cafe this has always been like one of my top faves and then with a darker one sorry i'm gonna sharpen it really quick i also always carry this little sharpener i got a pack of them i got a pack of like 12 for like a book at the saw me as well and then i kind of just do the same thing but outlining it only Excuse all the weird faces I'm making during this. <laughs> and then I kind of fill in a tiny bit here on the sides and at the top. So watch. Very lightly though, I'm not like pressing in. And that's pretty much it. This is usually what I'll wear on a daily basis. But when I have time, um, and if I'm going somewhere a little bit more special, or if I'm gonna be taking pictures, etc., and I don't wanna do the whole foundation thing, I have some extra things that I put on top of this. So the first thing I use is this little, I can't even tell you what the name is because I've had it for a while and it's just, so fucked up it's called this one's the water bronzer 240 sangria i think it's the same brand as this one this is the, my cheek thing oh undone beauty i think they're both from undone beauty if i'm correct again at target so with this i like to just this is just gonna be basically my um contour so again i use my fingers sorry if that's gross to you but just how we do things over here so all i'm gonna do is i take it from where i want it and i go up i go like up towards my temple 
and you see how it's coming out a little red it has to do a lot with like your undertone i don't i honestly don't even know if this is like the correct color for me but this is just what i use that's pretty much all the contour i do so then with two fingers i'm going to just tap and blend it but like kind of keep it where i want it you get me like don't rub blend it into my hairline i know it looks a little red right now but once you let it sit i've noticed it just kind of looks like your bone structure i guess i don't fucking know the terms to be honest that's what that looks like blend it out and then the size of my nose i just use one finger and i keep it exactly where i put the contour and then i go around damn that fucking truck just sit in there and then same thing with this side i'm just gonna tap 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 in the same place to keep it there the point is to try not to move it again the primer just helps keep everything in place so that's why primer is so important and I need to remind myself that because I get super lazy with putting it on, to be honest, so. Good job, me. And then the bottom, I kind of just rub it like backwards because I'm not trying to have any of it like up here. And then same thing here, and same thing here. Okay, that's it for contour, and then I do this little undone lip to cheek palette i've tried it on the lips i don't really like it on the lips so i always just use it for my cheek and like like where i want my blush since i have brown face i like to put my blush like right here just to lift up my cheekbones a bit and then i put a tiny bit on the nose and on the chin i don't know why i do that i just did it once and i liked how it looked And then if it looks like I didn't put much or if I want to add some more, I just go back in with a bit. It's easier to add on than to take off, as you guys know. Next, he finally fucking turned it off. <laughs> Next, I use this little Bare Minerals um, mineral veil thing that I actually got from Sephora for my birthday. And there's like a lot in here. So I get a bit, I just pat it. And I start here and I work my way up. Because if I put the powder right in my inner corner, it tends to crease a lot. So I'm going to put it in here and then I go up and sideways. Just where I get like shinier or where I'm the most oily. Here, here, here. Okay, so this is a little bit more done up, but again, it's like not the biggest thing in the world. And then if I want to be fancy fancy, I'll add this little Winky Lux strobing balm bubbles. I don't know. I just grab a bit on my fingertip and I just put it where I want my highlight to go. And then I like to blend it out. I don't like it to, you know, be super noticeable that it's like um, highlight, like glitter or whatever. So I blend it out. That's pretty much it. Sometimes I put it under my eyebrows if I'm doing a whole look and stuff, but... This is all I do as far as an everyday look goes. And then lastly, I like to spray this all-nighter spray that I also got from Sephora. This is actually like the only spray that's ever been able to keep my makeup on literally all night. 
So we're gonna shake her up and then spray. I like to make sure that this part and this part stay moisturized. Like I feel that the spray gets on there so that I know my contour isn't moving all day. And then I let her dry and that's pretty much it. I have had way better eyeliner days. It honestly took me a bit to find my routine, but now that I have found it, I feel super confident in my skin. It doesn't feel heavy at all throughout the day. I've noticed that it lasts like pretty much all my work day and then even sometimes till the end of the night if I end up going out somewhere. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you guys have any um, other products that you guys like on your daily basis that you would like me to try. I would love, love, love to try them. And let me know if you guys try any of these, how you like them. And again, make sure, if you are going to try any of this stuff, please make sure you guys take the time to look and find your color because that makes a huge, huge difference. Like for the concealer that I use, I had to use the, the foundationwebsite.com. I'll link it down below for you guys to use. That's usually the website that helps me find my shades and it works pretty well. So yeah, this is how i achieve my everyday makeup look please let me know if you guys enjoyed the video again if you have not followed me on my instagram it is aloe.sweat i post a lot of my workouts my meals and i love talking to you guys and hearing you guys' comments questions concerns so please feel free to dm me at any moment and ask away with all that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for sitting through this entire video and i will see you guys in the next one bye